engaged, and we're observing short period oscillations in it. Over. We're getting their footsteps. Fast and seismic. Very good. It's working. Did you understand that, Walter? Oh, no, what's that, no? The uh, footsteps are actually working on the uh, seismometer. So it's oh, a good they were getting oscillations. I assume they're yeah. on their footsteps. Yeah. That was anticipated. Was it not? I guess so. I, mm. I haven't. Highly, mm -hmm. highly sensitive seismometer. Mm -hmm. Neil Armstrong has been on the surface now about an hour and 50 minutes. You know, Walter, talking about standing on the moon, I, I begin to think maybe I wouldn't want to log that as flight time. I think that's unique enough to log as moon time. <laughs> You'd even forego flight pay for that, wouldn't you, Ronald? <laughs> Any time. Time and a half, planet to planet. <laughs> If you miss, it's called overtime, I guess. <laughs> you know, as words of an old song come to me, there ought to be a moonlight saving time to keep that moon out overtime. Oh. It's, uh, <laughs> something these fellows probably would wish for right now, keep that moon walk out overtime. You see them driving that core down now that we thought they were driving earlier when mm -hmm. they turned out they were putting up the flag. There they are. He's got that geologist pick, and he's uh, uh, hammering on a little crossbar at the top of that uh, core sampler, this piece of pipe, driving it into the moon's surface. Drive it down. Uh, he's at 60 ground, inches. Buzz Aldrin is collecting a core tube sample. It's going in quite easily, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not that so easy. <laughs> I guess not. It's not as easy as it looked. They thought maybe they could put it in by hand. But oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, I, I was impressed with the fact that I was thinking of the uh, Mojave Desert, and it takes a sledgehammer to get mm -hmm. a spike into that. Yeah. It almost looks wet. Who said that? Buzz said it almost looks wet. Hmm. I gather we've had some inquiries uh, from some who perhaps weren't listening very closely when earlier we mentioned that glare in glare on the screen on the left-hand side. Uh, for those who missed it, that glare is from the sun reflecting on one of the landing struts. Two core tubes and the solar wind experiment. Two the bright spot, of course, on the right there is the American flag. We don't have much definition of the bars, stars, but uh, it's there. I don't think there are many late viewers that might have missed that report earlier, do you? <laughs> no, I <laughs> find it hard to imagine, but we did get some inquiries, so apparently some people did. The core tubes provide material. Get the next one, maybe you can yeah. turn away the box a little bit. Yeah, I'll take care of
rest on the moon, be left there, that's worth $50,000 itself. And the television camera, well, the estimates vary from a quarter of a million to a half million dollars, that camera. Close-up camera magazine and closing out of the sample return container. It's running a little low on time. Well, we went through our uh, weight reduction program. Yeah, we went through our weight reduction program. This was the, one of the things we talked about, just that, leaving these items behind. Well, when they talked about the fact that they had to bring back, try to bring back 100 to 130 we pounds of rock. We want to keep a good margin in those portable life support systems. Instead of uh, bring back this equipment, one of the officials in Houston said, well, we know what an $11,000 camera looks like. We don't know what moon rock looks like. Beautiful. I like that. I guess we can make moon shine, but not moon rock. Is that it? <laughs> okay, could you quickly pick this from my pocket now, and I'll yep. head on up the ladder. Houston's being very lenient, I think, with their uh, timeline on Buzz going back up. Uh, we remind them it's three minutes, and that's already gone by. I thought at the moment that they called that out a little early, according to the timeline. We're figuring it out early. As close to an order as I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> he, he begged out for a little more time. There he just leaped up on the step. He's left the moon surface. He's up behind the flag there now, climbing the ladder. No trouble getting that first step, that one six gravity. There you see him, up above the flag, over on the right. That white dot, right above the horizon on the right, is a phosphorus spot from the TV converter in the park station in Australia. Oh. Doesn't mean we're seeing it. It means it's in the converter in yeah. Australia. Uh, the, uh, and so Neil Alden, 39 years old, from Montclair, it's Neil Alden, excuse me, Edwin Buzz Alden, 39 year old, from Montclair, New Jersey, has finished his walk on the moon climbing back into the lunar module, and his commander, Neil Armstrong, will finish his walk as soon as he's, as Alden is up there. We will have seen this, all of this historic walk right there on television from a quarter of a million miles out in space. Buzz does have a first. He's the first man to leave the moon. <laughs> <coughs> Well, let's just hope that, I hope that history records that three men made this trip. Neil Armstrong, the, uh, Buzz Aldrin, and Mike Collins. And Richard, there's hope that uh, hanging over here. You might entertain the idea of uh, 